everyone, I'm Paulette Morrissey from Tulip Square, and this week I'm going to do one that has been requested by our customers. Um, this is called Dinner Diamonds. It's pattern number 577. It's a little placemat set, and um, some people are kind of intimidated by the amount of diamonds and, and diagonal work on it, and it's there's not really very much in actuality. So I'm just going to show you how to make that pattern. It is number 577, and I'll put a link for it at the end of this video. So we're going to head over to the sewing machine and get started. All right, for this pattern, you're going to need light and dark colors that contrast nicely, as well as a white. I'm using these two fabrics and some off-white here. And these are both from Connecting Threads. It's from a really cute um, collection that's all fruit and stuff. And if you're interested in Connecting Threads fabric, where we buy a lot of our fabrics, um, there will be a link, a link in the description below. But anyway, I'm kind of anxious to make this set because I'm keeping it for my own kitchen. <laughs> Um, we're going to start with my light and dark squares, both the same size. I think they're three and a quarter inches, but I'm not sure. It's it's in the pattern. Um, and the pattern for this, by the way, will be in a link at the end of the video. So I'm going to start by taking pairs of them and sewing them together with a quarter inch seam. Now I'm going to press these towards the darker color. And then I'm going to sew them together in pairs like that so we have a nice little checkerboard of cute little fruit pictures. Now I've got those little squares done and I'm going to set those aside and we're going to take our white squares and we're going to take we have the light color triangles and we're going to take the triangles and we're going to sew one to each square. When you put these on it's going to look like it's a little too big up here let me show you this up close. You can see how it overhangs a little bit, and that's correct because once you sew your quarter inch seam, that little corner is going to open up and it's going to make it so the triangle comes right to the top of your square. And make sure you're sewing here and not here. So your triangle is facing this way. And go ahead and do that on all of your white squares. Now you've got these little pieces like this. Okay, now you're going to take a second triangle of the light colored fabric and you're going to sew it up here. So we're going to put it here and sew a quarter inch seam right across here. And go ahead and do that with all of these pieces and then press it towards the triangle. Now you can see that once you've pressed them towards the triangles that all you've got left from that extra little corner of the triangle is your seam allowance left here for the next seams. So that's exactly how you want it. So we're done with that. And now we're going to take the remaining white and light triangles and you're going to sew them together in pairs. You're going to sew half of the remaining pieces together with the triangle like this, the colored triangle on the left, and half of them with the colored triangle on the right. So now you have a stack of pieces with the triangles like this and a stack of pieces with the triangles like this. Okay, now you're going to take the square and you're going to sew a triangle on the top of it with a white over on the left and your pattern color on the right. And you're just going to put this down like so and do a nice quarter inch seam across there. So after you've sewn your triangle on here, you're going to turn it just like this and you're going to take the opposite kind of triangle and you're going to sew it here so you've got two white edges together like this. We're going to put this one here and sew this down. And you have to remember when you're sewing these pieces on, your little triangle corners will hang off and that's that's okay, they're supposed to be. What your important thing is, is to line up your two seams and the corners will take care of themselves later. Now you've got two of your triangle pieces sewn here and here. Back this up just a little bit. Move this extra stuff out of the way. Now you're going to take one of these pieces you made earlier with the white with the triangle on each side and you're going to turn this and put this right here. Now what you need to do is line up these seams and don't worry about this extended corner. You want these seams right here to line up. And sew your quarter inch seam. You've got eight pieces like this. So what you're going to do is take two of them, flip one around, and it's going to go like this and you're going to sew those seams together. Now on this one you have to make sure that if you line them up this edge and this edge 
all of these squares are going to be off. So what you have to do is line them up with your, your seams. We'll worry about the edges later, but you're just lining them up with the seams of the little squares. Now after that seam is sewn, once you open this, you will see that your edges magically line up with each other just like they're supposed to. So I'm going to go press that one and then we're going to keep going. Now you've got a piece like this and what you're going to do is so one of your short pieces of, the, of border to each of the two short ends like that. Go ahead and sew those. And once you've got that done, then all you have to do is add your longer seams, your longer border pieces at the top and the bottom. There you go, and that placemat is done. So I hope you enjoyed that video. That was kind of a fun pattern to make, wasn't it? And so now you know how to make dinner diamonds. And you can see from our original pattern with the shades of blue and how we made it today with this colorful fabric, you can get quite a variation on one pattern just by using different fabric. And if you like this fabric, this cute fruit selection, we got this at Connecting Threads, and we have a link to their shop in the description below. And we also have a link for this pattern up in this corner here. And if you like this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the little bell if you want to be notified when we put up new patterns, which we do every Saturday. So we hope you had fun. Happy sewing this week, and we will see you again next week with a brand new video. Bye-bye.